Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. So I'm gonna give you a little update of what's going on. It's been a while since I posted a video on, on my uh, house situation. Um, I'm gonna show you what uh, we've been, we have done so far. Not much, but I'm gonna show you what's going on. So the pretty much the only thing we've done is uh, put a gate, a new gate over there. That's a new gate and. That's a temporary. I don't know if we we'll probably do something else later on, but it should work. It should work for now. So uh, the next thing we've done is that they put a a pole. They put a pole right here and a pole right there. Uh, they I guess and then they moved the pole way over there, back that way so we can be able to go through there with the with our trucks <clears throat> with our vehicles I mean <laughs> and it's kind of windy too I don't know if you, you probably got to be able to hear it fine and then uh, they installed uh, this port right here with the meter base go over here and show you sun is setting so so they just install this right here for now, and uh, so I think I believe it's a 340 amp. The one I'm planning on doing here is I'm gonna put uh, probably like two meters right here, one for the shop and one for the house. Uh, at least that's my plan, and then I'm planning on build, uh, putting the the metal metal building over there and the house. I was just doing that right now. I'm marking it. Got my uh, measuring, uh, rolling measuring tape there. But here's my uh, corner marker. Uh, this actually is gonna be the back. You can see the other T post over there. Or I don't know if you can see it, but this actually gonna be the long ways, the back facing. This. Uh, shaded area uh, the front is gonna face is gonna be facing that way uh, facing the trees over there and then I can if you, I don't know if you can see but there's another t-post right there uh, that's gonna be the other corner and then the far back corner is gonna be on that side uh, so the reason is being is it was it's been so slow and delayed and everything. Uh, the building, the, the builder we're working with, he uh, he was dragging his feet pretty much. So uh, we look for another builder, and uh, we, we, we on the first builder we just pretty much waiting on the quote, and the quote came in and every, there was a lot of wrong with that quote, so we had to send it back and it took well it, we never got it back long story short we never got it back then later on you know after we moved on the builder say hey you know are you you still interested in building and then i told him i said well we never got the revised quote uh, and then he had the nerve to tell me that yeah he that the mom sent it to me. I guess it's a, it's a family owned business. The mom sent it to me, but why, why, why would I lie about that? You know, I don't have no reason to lie. So it pissed, it pissed me off, it pissed my wife off. So we just went and looked for another builder and the other builder came back with $100,000 more than this last builder. So we're like, nah. So now we decided to go modular home uh, because uh, well, the prices on lumber is they just keep getting higher and higher every 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 week, every month. And uh, right now, it's not. I guess it's not a good time to build anything. But we're we've been living in a travel trailer now for I don't know, like what seven, eight months, something like that. And we kind of like want to get as fast as we can over here. We're still living over in the rental property 
we, we ran him from this guy he's pretty cool he's pretty nice but anyways uh so that's what we're working on now uh we're just waiting on the uh quote for this uh, modular home we already got it but uh we had to fix some things on there so we're gonna go by this weekend um to the uh, modular where they sell the modular homes and uh i don't know if you guys want to see who it is or anything like that let me know and i'll, I'll, put, I'll post another video if you want now i'm sorry for just me just videoing everything over here but i'm just trying to explain anything there's there isn't much to show other than what I've been showing you from previous videos on my property here, it's just uh, it's been a nightmare. But it, it wasn't like that when we were building with Tilson Homes, that's for sure. You know, everything came out went smooth, and uh, we didn't have to pay. But you know, I don't know. I cannot say enough things about Tilson Homes. They were pretty nice. They were pretty good. But we cannot afford it. You know, we cannot just afford a, another home we already tried contacting them they said that they don't have any homes on the price range so we had to go for something cheaper since we got all this land and that's pretty much what we wanted and now we just need a home <laughs> not a, not an expensive home though something we can afford with the land with our monthly income and all that stuff so anyways i'll let you go for now and like i say if you guys want to know who who the modular home company is or anything like that let me know and i'll post another video on that if not we just wait until until we actually get something done here till we break ground that's what i'm eager to do now so ah uh, well thank you for watching and make sure you like and subscribe it's free for some reason or for some reason i don't know why but some people think that they have to pay for subscribe or something or i don't know <laughs> I have uh, videos that uh, been, you know, some people have been watching and they watch like over probably 2,000 views, but I only have like 154 right now subscribers, and I appreciate that for whoever subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I can see an armadillo from here, so let's go and check it out. Let me get let me go over there and catch up to it. I can't believe how close I got to it. And there he goes. Probably finally saw me. Armadillo right there. Anyways, I guess uh, that's it for now. And uh, like I said, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>